Using one, one and a half leaf of seco. Now he cubes the viso and also cubes the ligero. He put this a small side because he knows this is gonna be not good for the head of the cigar. It's a calculation. And refill with ligero in the middle. Now this is very special moment. How he rolls the filler in the binder so that there is no a twist that can make a knot in the middle of the cigar and can have the cigar blocked. This way when he makes this movement it's crucial that all the leaves are in the same way so that they allow the, the smoke to go through the cigar easily. If he makes a twist that is commonly made when you are starting to make cigars, you make a nut, mm. and then the smoke don't go get through. It's no, got it's a no good draw. and don't draw. Ruin the draw. Yeah. How long does it take to learn how to do this? Well, yeah. well, we usually we have learning. Usually takes about six months to make production. To make production, it means to make the minimum amount of cigars to be baked. Six months. What is that for a station like this? Uh, how much is it? Yeah, how, ma how, ma well, how many? Well, normally a, day? a couple, because we work on couples, uh -huh. can make 325 cigars per day. That's the average of our company. 325, no more. But uh, the minimum can be 150. We always work on units of 25 cigars. That is the less you can tie in a muscle. A media rueda is 50 cigars. Half, half, half a wheel. Yeah, 50 cigars. But you can also make 25. So the average here is 325. The cigars are made by uh, women. She's using the Criollo wrapper from Nicaragua, Havana City. It's a thick wrapper. That's why we use a metal table instead of a wooden table. If she, if she was rolling this cigar with a kinetic wrapper or a thin wrapper, she don't need to use a metal table. But in this case, as the wrapper is thick, the metal allows her to, to stick the wrapper on the, on the metal and it will stretch it very well. It's very important that he, that she stretch it very well because it will give the shine to the cigar. When you stretch the wrapper very well, the cigar will look shiny. 
If you don't stretch the wrapper very well, then you will see it wrinkle. Wrinkle and pain. No. So it's very important that they stretch the wrapper very well before they Gracias. Okay. Also, cleans it off after each one. So you have to identify the face of the leaf and the back of it. There is a face and there is a back. The same place you have in the in the plant. This is the face that receives the sunlight, and the back that uh, is, as you know, below. And when they are going to roll the cigar, they position the leaf, the face to the table and the back here because you will want to roll the cigar with the face of the leaf out. So it's very important. It seems to be a full thing, but I have uh, given some cigars to people that want to roll and they roll it on the opposite side. And all the veins that are thicker on the back are out. <laughs> no. And it's not as pretty on so, the underside. Of course, it's, 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 it tastes exactly the same, but it so doesn't look as nice. I always try to recommend to see where is the face and where is the back because it's important. Then, the finishing of the head is also very important because it's the first part you see when you buy a cigar. They cut the cigar to side with this set up uh, guillotine and put the cap on the cigar. Traditional way of cigar storage. Now there is many different ways of doing this. There are wooden cases where you put 100 cigars and they are not tied in in half a wheel. Uh, it's good because they damage less. When you put uh, cigars over the other, these cigars suffer and they can get uh, get shaped. They can get pressed a little bit flat. So it's better if you don't put too much cigars on them. So we here try to do three lays, no more. Because this way, these cigars will not suffer. If we put four of them, these cigars will get damaged. And you obtain a percentage of broken foot on the wrappers because they break when they dry something. Or uh, shaped cigars, flattened cigars, things like that. But we usually put three. We are in the process of uh, uh, making new escaparates with these wooden uh, boxes and uh, that will save us a lot of cigars. Because it doesn't mean that we lose the cigar totally, but there is too much uh, cigar that needs to be re-rolled. Mm -hmm. And you know, re-rolling a cigar is something that you can do, but it must be done by a special roller. because. You take out the wrapper easily, you just damage the wrapper, it's very easy to take it out. But when you roll the cigar, everything is the same as when you roll a new cigar, except for the cutting of the cigar. Because as you saw, the roller has an extra inch to cut the cigar with the machine. Now she has exactly the length of the cigar. So instead of using a guillotine, she needs to use a scissor, a very sharp scissor, mm. to cut the the wrapper and make it neat. So no, no every every roller can do that. Hmm. So that there are special rollers that can roll roll. Hmm. They do that, they will get uh, 